Hello, I'm Alan, a Cloud Support Engineer here at the AWS office in Dublin. Today, I'm going to show you how I can troubleshoot slow or inconstant speeds when downloading or uploading to Amazon Simple Storage Service. Let's get started. Sometimes, when downloading from or uploading to Amazon S3 from a specific network or machine, those requests might get higher latency. Let's see how to diagnose high latency or inconstant speeds. The location of the client making requests. Be sure that you are using S3 buckets that are as geographically close to your client as possible. Buckets are globally accessible, but they reside in a specific AWS region. The geographical distance between the request and the bucket contributes to the time that it takes for a response to be received. You can test the impact of geographical distance between the client and the S3 bucket. Let's say that I have a S3 bucket here in Dublin. I created a Elastic Compute Cloud instance in same region to simulate a client that is close to this S3 bucket. Let's test its download and upload. Now, I also created an EC2 instance in Tokyo. Let's try the same test with a client further away. As we can see, there are differences in latency when the clients are geographically further away. The client internet service provider. Test your network path to check if there is a packed loss, a high number of hops, or any other ISP related issue that can affect how your connection traverses the internet. Tools such as MTR and Traceroute can help provide clues for potential packet loss as well as latency of the packets that are sent to the remote host. Additionally, these tools can help identify if there is a network hop causing high latency. The client network. Confirm that your client's network is healthy by reviewing internal package inspections, antivirus scanning, or network access management. Review how your client or application handles DNS resolution and caching to benefit from Amazon S3's distributed nature and availability. Avoid caching the DNS resolution for long periods of time. The client resources. There might be latency introduced in your application or because of the way your host that's making the requests is handling the request sent and response received. As a best practice, confirm that there is no resource contention within the host, for example, with the CPU, memory, or network bandwidth that might be contributing to the overall latency. You can check the resource usage during the data transfer on most client systems using tools such as Resource Monitor or the Top Command, depending on your operating system. The client's storage device or system might also be a source of latency. Read or write operations to the client's storage device that experience elevated latency can impact the performance of the download or upload to Amazon S3. You must troubleshoot the IOPS of the storage device from the client side, but Amazon S3 performance can be analyzed using the Amazon CloudWatch metric first byte latency. You can narrow down your investigation using Amazon S3 server access logs. The request rate to Amazon S3. By default, S3 buckets can support thousands of requests per second per prefix. If a client is getting HTTP 500 errors response from Amazon S3, then this might indicate that the supported request rate per prefix is exceeded. In summary, 
to resolve or avoid 500 errors, consider the following approach. Enable a retry mechanism in the application making requests. Configure your application to increase the request rates gradually. Distribute objects across multiple prefixes. Monitor the number of 500 internal error response. Copy your data using alternative methods. You can find more detail in how to troubleshoot 500 errors linked in the Associated Knowledge Center article. Review the Amazon S3 server access logs to determine the turnaround time. You can enable Amazon S3 server access logging to review turnaround time metrics. The turnaround time is the time between when the last byte of the request is received and when the first byte of the response is sent. This metric is time to first byte. You can use turnaround time to determine the amount of time the operation is taking from an Amazon S3 perspective. Then, you can evaluate other latencies outside Amazon S3 that might be contributed to an overall slow download or upload. You can enable the Amazon S3 server access logging by using the S3 console following the next steps. Sign in to the AWS Management Console and then open the Amazon S3 console. In the bucket list, Choose the name of the bucket that you want to enable server access logging for. Choose Properties. In the Server Access Logging section, choose Edit. Under Server Access Logging, select Enable. For Target Bucket, enter the name of the bucket that you want to receive the log record objects. The Target Bucket must be in the same region as the Source Bucket and the bucket must not have a default retention period configuration. Choose Save Change. You can then check the turnaround field in the server access log. And now, you know how to troubleshoot slow or inconstant speeds when downloading or uploading to Amazon Simple Storage Service. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. Mm -hmm.